Welcome back. Now joining me on Newsnight is the chairman of the Chamber of Mines and Petroleum, a founding partner of Uganda's most distinguished law firm, Kampala Associated Advocates. You are very kind. <laughs> you are very kind. Yes, let's start there. For three days you have been meeting at the Serena. What does that mean? What, what have you been meeting about? What are the key takeaways? Well, I think um, we've had three days of an amazing and, and surprising conversation with private sector participants who have come from all over the world. We've had people from Russia, from Canada, from China, from South Korea, from France, from Yemen, from Middle East, from United Arab Emirates, from uh, South Africa, from America. It's been an amazing a combination of people from different backgrounds and professions. And it was about the future of Uganda's oil and gas and also the logistics um, and supply chain management, making Uganda part of a regional hub that we should create in 2017 to be ready to handle the enormous opportunity that has presented itself to the people of Uganda in exploiting 6.5 billion barrels of oil which has so far been discovered. Um, I, earlier on, I heard you at, at the yes. conference, you were talking about creating a, an orchestra to create yes. some harmony within which you can then deliver the airplane cold oil and, and yes. it lands perfectly. Yes. Where, where is the disharmony now? Where, is the, where are the points that have failed the takeoff? You see, in the past we had a lot of issues with the government from the private sector side. Mm -hmm. So there were legal challenges, there were tax issues, we had to go to international courts, we had to go to Ugandan courts, we delayed issuing uh, production licenses, and we just went into disputes with oil companies. This has now finally come to an end. And there is no excuse now anymore because companies have been given production licenses, they have been permitted to start what you call front-end engineering design, a, mouth, a mouthful of a word, mm. but which is really said meant to mean that um, the engineers will have to sit down and work out the entire network from beginning to the end, from Bulisa, from Noya, from Kingfisher, from all those fields, all the way to taking our oil to the Indian Ocean at Tanga in Tanzania. And it will cost it to, mean to, 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 to inform government how much is, it's going to cost them. And then they will have to make a final investment decision at the end of this year to raise the billions of uh, dollars required for them to invest in exploiting our oil. Mm -hmm. So this conference was a clarion call to the people of Uganda not to miss out, not to be left aside, and to come in and see and gauge the opportunities. So the freight forwarders and the private sector foundation and the Chamber of Mines and Petroleum sat together, brought Ugandans, we had a mammoth conference, the most successful oil and gas conference ever held in Uganda. We were honored by the presence of our president and uh, a visiting head of state from Equatorial Guinea. For them, they have had 20 years of actual production of oil and 30 years of discover since the discovery. So we shared experiences with Equatorial Guinea. And uh, so today, the Ugandans were very, very uh, pleased to have those heads of states with them, uh, and also the international guests. They felt uh, honored and privileged to sit down and rub shoulders with the president. But more particularly, the issue of local content, to make sure that we Ugandans are not bystanders and that we shall participate and we shall benefit from 
the resource that Mother Nature and God Almighty gave to the people of Uganda as a present. And we will now be able to stand up among the rest of the world and say, Uganda is an oil and gas country involving Ugandans, the mistakes others made, the thorns on which they walked, we have now studied them and we shall not step on those thorns. All right, thank you yes. so much, Chairman. You've thank had him. You. Of course, we expect that the first oil will be out in 2020 if everything goes according to the plan. Yes. And, of course, that was the Chairman, Eli Karuhanga, who is the Chairman of the Chamber of Mines and Petroleum for Uganda. Back to our newscast now.